Hello everybody, tonight I'm going to do a very brief Socklands video. This weapon has been out on live server for about two days or so, so consider this a first look video if you will. For those of you who don't know about Socklands, it is in essence a very short ranged weapon that does additional damage on backstab. The angle, not the range, the angle of backstab is the same as that for close combat perk. It is available for all class and currently goes in secondary slot. However, every class has at least one secondary weapon that is flat out superior to shotguns. For example, for infiltrator class, pistol and even the volcanic knife is vastly superior. Whenever I was using shotguns on infiltrator, I often felt crippled by the lack of ranged secondary weapon. But at the same time, shotguns is indeed viable on the infiltrator class. For me, the biggest selling point of Shocklands is the sock and knife combo. The way melee is set up in tribes is just that you can melee immediately after you fire a weapon. So combining Shocklands with melee leads to a massive instant brush damage at close range. Note that this does not work the other way around. If you go for melee first, then there will be a huge gap before you can fire with Shocklands. So what does this all mean in terms of damage? How big is the brust? Give me the numbers. Well, I'll put down the math and the numbers in the video description and hopefully I'll update that if the weapon gets changed and if the value gets changed with it. But for now, here are the two key points to note. First, sock and knife combo will instant kill medium class on front stab. So no more of having to go for back stabs all the time. No more of having to wait for perfect time to get the back stab. Anytime you feel you can land the combo, just go for it. Second thing, with close combat perk, shock and knife will instant kill heavy class on back stab. This is huge. This is massive. Prior to close combat perk, you could only instant kill light classes. Then with close combat perk, you could instant kill mediums. And now heavies share the same fate. A Doombringer on flag, one shot. A Jug on hill, one shot. Brute on... Where does he go? One shot anyway. At first glance, this might seem OP, but it really is not. Anyone that equips Shock Lance is missing out tons of damage potential of pistol. They're possibly missing out ranged harass of volcanic knife. They're possibly not going to be able to do squat if enemy goes up in the air. In order to fill that void, you might want to go SMZ on primary. That is probably never going to happen for me though. I personally love my still fuser too much to give up on it now. I mean, I was using it back when everybody was running around with Jackal and all. I might switch back to throwing knife actually. I miss it quite a bit. And on top of that, I am not very fond of the limitation that comes with having shock lands as a secondary. Anyway, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about Shocklands. Have you used it? Do you like it? And all that good stuff. And I, this is all I got in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. And I will see you next time.